Welcome to the fifth video on how to use Synth Edit. A few videos back, we saved our project as a VST, and I showed it in use in FL Studio. Because of the way the plugin was set up, it could only be used as an effect. If I go up to Save as VST, here on the window is the option Plugin is Synth. This needs to be checked to save as an instrument, but it's currently unselectable. In this video, I'll show you how to get this box selectable. The main reason why a VST is saved as an effect versus an instrument is a MIDI input. If you have no way to control the plugin other than by dialing in the settings on the interface, it will be deemed an effect. So the first thing we need to do is add a MIDI input. There are several ways this can be done, but in this example, I'm going to add a keyboard control. Outside of the container in the main window, right click, go to insert, go down to controls, and select keyboard. The keyboard module is an on-screen MIDI keyboard, and you can play it with a mouse or with the keys on your computer keyboard. So let's connect the MIDI out plug on the keyboard module to the spare plug on the container. Over here inside the container, you can see on the I.O. mod that a MIDI out plug has been added. With the I.O. mod, you can use one or more to route the signal. They all work together. So we can leave all the inputs and outputs on this one module, or we can have dedicated in and out I.O. mods. That tends to clean up the design. So let's delete the patch cords between the container and the sound out module, and the patch cord between the VCA module and the I.O. mod. This I.O. mod will be the input module for this container, so I'll move it over here to the left side. Right click inside the container, go to Insert and select I.O. mod. This will be our output module. Put this on the right side. Connect the output plug on the VCA module to the I.O. mod's spare plug and connect the output plug on the container to the sound out module. If you connect to the one plug, you'll be routing sound to the left channel, and if you connect to the two plug, you'll route sound to the right. You can connect one plug to multiple other plugs, so let's connect the output plug to the two plug on the sound module as well. At this point, we no longer need the pitch knob, because it's going to be replaced by the keyboard. So go ahead and delete the pitch knob. If you try to connect the MIDI out plug to the pitch plug on the oscillator, you get an error can't connect different plug types. The MIDI out plug is transmitting MIDI data, while the pitch plug is expecting control voltage. What we need is a way to convert MIDI data to control voltage. There's a module specifically dedicated to this, and it's called the MIDI to CV module. Right click inside the container, go to Insert, and go down to MIDI, and select MIDI to CV. So, here we have the MIDI to CV module and it has lots of plugs. We're not going to cover them all yet, we're just going to get the keyboard controlling the oscillator's pitch. All we need to do is connect the MIDI out plug on the I.O. mod to the MIDI in plug on the MIDI to CV. Next, connect the pitch plug of the MIDI to CV to the pitch plug of the oscillator. At this point, if you press one of the keys on the keyboard, you can control the pitch. Now, the problem is when you hit a note, it just plays on indefinitely any other notes you play overlap. This would be a useless instrument unless you just wanted to make noise. But regardless, if you go up to Save as VST, in the dialog box, the option Plugin is Synth is now selectable. Now, if you save it, it is actually an instrument, not just an effect. In the next video, we'll look at how to use a gate to control the signals so they're not constantly playing. Thanks for watching.